Hi, and welcome to a MLL Quick Tip tutorial. My name is Eyal, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use MLL's Find and Replace and Find Set to find something in your document and apply formatting to only part of it. Here's a document. Scattered around the documents are some numbers. Some of the numbers are enclosed in parentheses, and some are not. And we want to find these enclosed numbers and make them bold. First step is to find the enclosed numbers. This is easy. Open the Find pane by hitting Command F. Type in the parentheses. Now put the insertion point between them and choose Digit from the Insert Element pop up menu. Double click the Digit element and in the Attributes dialog, choose Once or More in the Repetition pop-up menu. Also, check the Greedy checkbox and press OK. Now, let's turn to the Replace field. Choose Found Expression from the Insert Element pop-up menu and then, while the insertion point is still in the Replace field, choose Bold from the Face pop-up menu in the Character Palette. Now, let's click Replace All and see what happens. Is that right? Actually, no. The operation did indeed replace only the enclosed digits, but it applied bold to both the digits and the enclosing parentheses. The problem here is that the formatting is applied to the whole found expression and not just part of it. Let's undo this and see what we can do. What we need to do is a two part thing. First, we delimit the part we want to format and then we find the delimited text and apply the formatting while removing the delimitation. First, let's do this to the find expression. We'll select the opening parenthesis and choose group from the pop-up menu. Then we'll repeat this for the digit element and the closing parenthesis. Turn to the Replace field and first, let's remove the formatting. Also delete the found expression element and instead insert three back reference elements. The back references are placeholders for the groups in the find expression. Let's double click the back references and assign them the correct group numbers. First back reference refers to the first group, the opening parenthesis. The second to the second group that encloses the digit. And the third to the third group, the closing parenthesis. Now let's wrap the middle back reference with some unique delimiter. For example, let's enclose it in three curly brackets. Run the operation and you'll see that all the enclosed numbers are also enclosed with three curly brackets. Now, let's save this find action. Choose Save Find Action As in the cogwheel menu. And let's call it Delimit Digits. Let's work on the second find action. Clear the Find and Replace fields. In the Find field, enter the delimiter we used in the first action and inside, insert an any character element. Double click the any character element and choose once or more in the repetition group. Leave the greedy checkbox unchecked. Now, with the any character element still selected, choose group in the pop-up menu. Turn to the replace field and insert a back reference element. The back reference is numbered 1, which is OK because we want it to stand for the group we have in the find field, the group that encompasses the digits. This replace expression will only take that part of the found expression and remove the rest. Now, with the insertion point still blinking in the replace field, let's choose bold in the face pop-up menu. Click replace all and there we have it. Only the enclosed numbers are shown in bold. 
Let's save our work. Choose Save Find Action As in the Cogwheel menu and name the action Find Delimited and Make Bold or any other name you like. Finally, let's put those two actions together in a Find Set. Open the Find Set window by choosing Edit, Find, Find Set or use the keyboard shortcut Command Shift F. Click the plus button to add a new find set and name it Embolden and Close Digits. Again, the name is up to you. Now, let's click on All Actions and find the Delimit Digits action. Drag it into our new find set. Find the Find Delimited and Make Bold action and drag it also to our find set. Click our Find Set and you'll see the two actions listed there. Let's switch to our document and undo twice so we can check our new Find Set. Switch back to the Find Set window, select our Find Set and click the Play button at the top of the window. The log shows you how many replacements were done. Switch to the document and you can see that the enclosed numbers were indeed made bold. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.